Met apologized to philosophy lecturer who was ridiculed in strip search. Scotland Yard has finally apologized to a university lecturer after officers used sexist, derogatory and unacceptable language as she was strip searched. Dr. Constantia Duff, an assistant professor of philosophy at Nottingham University, sued after being subjected to the degrading examination and sexualized mockery at Stoke Newington Police Station. She was held for intervening in the arrest of a boy of 15 by trying to hand him a card listing his legal rights in May 2013. The teenager, who has not been named, was later found to have a six inches knife in his sock in Hackney. The Met Police has been forced to pay her compensation after shocking CCTV was released showing officers calling her rank, discussing her smelly knickers and the amount of hair on her body. The custody sergeant said treat her like a terrorist and search her by any means necessary during the incident. Footage released to The Guardian shows Sergeant Curtis Howard, who was in charge of the custody area, ordering her search. He told officers to show her resistance is futile and to search her by any means necessary. He added, treat her like a terrorist. I don't care. Dr. Duff was bound by three female officers in a cell before being pinned down and having her clothes ripped off with scissors. After the search, they walked into the reception room before a policeman said, didn't find anything untoward on her, ladies. One of the women said, a lot of hair. Another of the officers laughed. Two policemen went through her stuff, with one saying, sorry, sorry, what's that smell? His co-worker said, oh, it's her knickers, yeah. A female officer entered the room and said, ugh, I feel disgusting. I'm going to need a shower. A man from the force hit back, you need defumigating. One of the women said, is she rank? The female officer said, no, she's not actually. Another policeman replied, she is, her clothes stink. The woman added, is it? Her body isn't. Dr. Duff said today, there was such a barrage of misinformation that they put out that I actually, even though I was there, and I knew that it was false, had almost started to doubt myself. It was such an effective gaslighting, we were just concerned for your mental health, that was why we had to, for your own good, forcibly strip you naked and mash you up. It was so obviously not what they were doing at the time. They were doing it as punishment, they were doing it as intimidation, they wanted to soften me up and get my details. Police originally claimed they acted with professionalism after the philosophy professor refused to give her name. Howard was cleared of gross misconduct by a disciplinary panel in 2018, after claiming his actions were needed to assess any risk she posed to herself. The Met has not said where any other officers have been probed, but said claims against individual officers have been put to the Professional Standards Directorate. The force has issued an apology and will compensate her following her civil case against them. Inspandi O'Donnell, from the Met's Directorate of Professional Standards, told her, I would like to take this opportunity to sincerely and unreservedly apologize for the sexist, derogatory and unacceptable language used about you and for any upset and distress this may have caused. I hope that settlement of this claim and this recognition of the impact of what happened that day will enable you to put this incident behind you. A spokesman for the Met told Mail in Line, in November 2021, the Met settled a claim following the arrest of a woman in Hackney in May 2013. We have sincerely apologized to the complainant for the language used